Yeah, I can hear you, love. Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That is the Everyday City Carry. And today we're going to be doing our first sort of episode of this new series that might work. I'm going to call this one Rated S for Slice. I got the name from that old movie trailer of the ZT-0900 that I made. Uh, the reason why I'm making this actually is because I did an unboxing of this knife, the CJRB Gobi, and it turned out all fucked up. <laughs> all right, I forgot to press record on some things, and I've been doing that a lot, so I really didn't want to release it. Also, I had a problem exporting it in uh, Kindmaster, but uh, I thought of this idea. I moved some things around on my table and you're gonna have better views of the knife I'm gonna have a little bit more free reign on where to move around um, and I think it'll be fun man it'll be a good way for me to pump out videos faster it's not gonna be what's dope about it what's whack about it or if you should forget about it kind of deal that takes me anywhere from five to seven hours you guys already know that this is just gonna be off the cuff quick look at that I had to put cat hair take cat hair off of it and I just got some bullet points here and uh, my plan is to sort of switch around uh, views and angles and things like that and shooting it all simultaneously of my face me hands and above you know what I'm saying I don't know why my accent just changed right there but okay so first things first the CJRB Gobi uh, I really like the JG10 with the pop of color here it's kind of like an orange I'm gonna call it Fast and the Furious Orange or something, you know? Like uh, some Asian guy in the early 2000s would have this as their car color. But it is really, really nice looking, all right? You've got this, it's just, everything is pretty well done about it. It doesn't look cheap, it looks really good. I do have another JG10 knife on the deck right now, which is... The TRM Neutron that I just got from Bobby, not Bobby, the homie. And uh, I do really like this one. We'll bring it back out again later. But check out this blade, man. Check out this whole, like, profile of this knife. It looks fire, dude. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. I mean, you know, let's give it a top view a little bit. That looks awesome to me. And I didn't really know about this knife. Um, I haven't been privy to a lot of like information because I've so I've been sort of focusing on unboxings and podcasts for you guys because the podcast has been growing quite a bit. I do have Nick Shabazz as this week's guest, so prepare for that on Friday morning EST. I'll release it at 8 a.m. Listen to that one, man. It was a good one. But so back to the CJRB Gobi right the Gobi by the way is a desert in China that's what this name this knife is named after so this thing has pretty good ergos man you know if you look at it in my small fish paws right now that's because of this it's got this curvature here and you could tell this looks very Persian scimitar like I kind of dig that I kind of dig that um, it reminds me of the ZT 0460 or 0462 is the larger version of that knife and that's what it reminds me of but I really like the way this knife looks you know now the action is pretty good it runs on ceramic it runs on ceramic ball bearings as you can see there the action is pretty snappy it could be an all-day flipper you know what I'm saying because look at that dude I have been flipping this a lot one thing you got to watch out for is it does start to go off-center that's kind of like my test with budget knives if it starts going off-center that's maybe you know you could tell that it's budget man a lot of the higher-end stuff shouldn't shouldn't go off-center with flippage 
Uh, another thing that I want to note is you know it's a budget knife when it doesn't have um, weight reduction and this does not have weight reduction. I don't know how I'm going to show that on cam. I may just take pictures of the internals, but this does not have it, man. And it's pretty heavy. This knife is 3.33 ounces. And uh, yeah, that's the one thing I noticed about it right away when I picked it up. I was like, oh, it's not, you know, it's not a light guy here. So the pivot collar has a little orange ring on it, as you can see in both cams here. And you've got this pop of color in the backspacer. It just looks awesome. While we're on the backspacer, look at the lanyard hole. It's, I'm going to say that's in the middle for me of how I rate it. Um, I like knives that have the lanyard hole kind of in the back here. And what you could have done is kept the JG10 uh, without that hole there and it just looks much more cohesive. I just think this is distracting and you can put it back here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just the way I like them now. You know what I'm saying? Now the one really amazing thing about this is the price. This I've seen for $35. $35 plus for this knife. You're gonna get D2 blade steel, right? And um, you know, a good action, good ergonomics, and really good aesthetics for that price. I think I've seen this on Blade HQ for about 39 bucks, but I've seen this go as low as 35. So, you know, search around on Google, see what you can find, man. But this is a good buy for that price. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's kind of like, I mean, what territory is that going into? Not even Civivi, because Civivi is a little bit more expensive now, right? This is crazy. You know, if you guys don't know, CJRB is Artisan Cutlery's budget line. Uh, it stands for Chang Jang Ren Blade, I think, is what it stands for. Someone asked me that in my comment section, and I think was just trying to be silly. And was making fun of uh, CJRB's website because it was um, not very good English, and I decided to block that guy. You know, I don't stand for that shit. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, um, I blocked him. But anyway, let's get back to the knife here. Let's see what else I didn't talk about. Okay, so the chamfering is done pretty well all around the knife, all right? Except the inside part here can be pretty sharp. So the outside right here is nicely rounded, but the internals here are quite sharp. Not like super obnoxiously sharp, but you can definitely feel that, especially when you do this. You know what I mean? Almost stabbed myself there. So my thoughts, man, on this, let's end this right now. Um, I really like this. <laughs> I think I might buy this actually, especially for the price before they, they all go. Um, you know, I'd never, I'd never had a ZT-0460 or 0462. When I unboxed this, I was like, fuck, this is like almost clone-like, but it's not. I looked it up. I looked up the uh, 0460 on, on Google and I started looking at images and started to compare and the blade shape, the scales are much more angular and you know, it's not like that model owns the Persian style blade shape. You know what I mean? That would be kind of unfair because yeah, it just is man, you know? It does remind me a lot of that and that is a much more expensive knife. And, you know, this one, dude, if you don't have the loot, you've got 35 or under $40. This is a good buy, man. You got D2 blade steel, G10, JG10. You got the pops of color. No weight reduction. You do have a deep carry pocket clip. Let's talk about that for a little bit. You do have a deep carry pocket clip, but it's not like all the way up. And they could have put it all the way up if they did the lanyard hole the way I explained earlier. This could be up there because you would have more G10. So, you know, that would have improved that. Um, it is deep carry though. You're just gonna have a little bit sticking out. So, you know, it's a loop over. I think this, uh, I, I coined that from JT, or JT coined that rather. I don't know what the actual saying is, but yeah, it's a loop over. Um, yeah, man, but I really like it. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. Do you have a CJRB Gobi? Do you like this thing? It is gram worthy because it stands on its own. Can it stand on its own this way? Yes. What do you guys think, man? Let me know in the comments. Let's do a knives up right now. And we put the G JG10s together. That's the TRM 
add a neutron. We're gonna do the best tech ghost. I'm gonna do all the special sort of uh, handle scale knives I've got here close by. I've got the Civivi Elementum. And let's see, this is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian that uh, JT sent me. But I hope this has been fun. This is something that I want to do more often so I can get videos out for you guys, like, quicker. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. The triple kind. The trip kind, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Look at that triple piece.